We are back. We are back. We are back again. We are back to go back to one pole food center to try more foods at the food center there. But now we are actually along Balestier Road, heading, waiting to turn into one pole drive to head towards the food center to try something surprisingly delicious, something surprisingly comfort, something surprisingly similar. Something surprisingly expected. So, let's get to it. Let's turn into Wampo Drive. Let's head towards Wampo Food Center and let's eat food at the Wampo Food Center. Let's go! How to get there? Okay. Theoretically, okay, the nearest MRT to Balestier Road is actually Boon King MRT Station. So, let me take you uh, from Boon King MRT Station. So, when you head out from the gantry, you turn right and you head down this long corridor walk the corridor right to the end because you'll be heading to corridor C I mean the exit C no corridor C, exit C and at exit C there's actually an escalator going up which you will take up Bunking MRT station is actually on the northeast line which is the purple line okay so remember exit C Okay, so once you reach the top of the escalator, what you need to do is you need to turn right. Okay. And then you turn right here, you turn left, and you notice this big field on top here or in front of you. You need to walk all the way to the other end of the field. Okay, so you turn right here, head towards the main street. Then at the main street you turn left. Okay. So basically, remember the field, you have to walk uh, at the side here, under this underground, I mean under, under this uh, covered walkway, straight all the way to the end. Okay, And when you reach the end here, you see here is Lavender Street. And on the other side there, if you zoom in, Ballastia Road. So theoretically, this MRT station is the nearest to Balestier Road but this is not the part of um, um, Balestier Road that people normally associate with Balestier Road normally people will go uh, look at the shop houses but so basically what you're going to do is you're going to cross here okay, and then we just cross from here so now I'm going to cross here again to get uh, to Balestier Road itself okay so once we have crossed we're going to turn right and we're going to keep walking along the street where there's still road here so there are shop houses on my left here but these shop houses okay if you actually have a look at the shop houses are part of um, little india which when i do my places of interest about little india we will cover all these shop houses but at the moment we are going to just walk past of it even though it is on Balestier Road. Okay, so keep walking straight. Okay, we're gonna pass the Civil Service Club on your left here, but we're gonna keep walking straight along here until we reach to the first uh, bus stop. Okay. So at this bus stop here, we're gonna take bus 21 to take us all the way in. The bus route for 21 does take us uh, quite a roundabout route, but uh, it will stop by uh, at behind the uh, Wampo Food Center, the same place where bus 131 dropped us, which is here. Okay, and we're going to walk in from here. Okay, so once you uh, drop up from the bus stop okay 
you keep walk walk in, you follow the covered walkway. After that, you turn left. When you turn left, you see that you actually have a coffee shop here. And for just for your information, we're actually walking underneath a HDB block. Because certain HDB blocks, um, the instead of leaving it empty, they actually change it into retail space. So you have coffee shops, then you also have a lot of retail space where it sells different things like this shop here that sells cookies. They can sell uh, herbal, they can sell clothes, they can sell anything, or even clinics also. Anyway, at the end here, you turn right. Okay, when you turn right, you walk straight a bit, you'll notice that you're actually at one pole food center. So this is where we're gonna eat the food. Okay, so let's start off back in uh, block 90, which is this block here. Okay, and at this place here called Singapore Fried Hokkien Mee. Okay, have you noticed this guy actually have two stores? And they actually take the order from the side uh, of the first store here. So you will go towards the side there, you see there's actually a queue, and you actually place your order uh, when it's your turn at the queue. So this is the noodles itself. One thing about this uh, Hokkien Mee itself is that the seafood stock they use to cook the Hokkien Mee is very flavorful. It's, when you taste the noodles, you can actually taste the richness and the uh, richness and the flavorfulness of the stock itself. And also, as you can see, the stock itself is actually very wet. The soup is the noodles are actually very wet. So it's slightly different than some of the other Hokkien Mee's we eat. Okay, this one is the wet version, uh, a lot of stock. Okay, and then the noodles itself is also quite mushy. Okay, not uh, al dente or not firm in any sense. It's all just mushy. But this is what you expect much from the Hokkien Mee if you're eating Hokkien Mee in Singapore. Also, uh. One thing you can actually do is you can actually I suggest for you to actually mix in the chili sauce that you see on the right there. The chili sauce itself, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, right? There is a preserve, uh, <coughs> some kind of preserved seafood in it, maybe like prawn or something like that. That gives it a very nice uh, taste. That once you mix it up with the noodles, it actually is quite tasty, tasty Hokkien uh, mee. Only thing about this shop is that they only open during evenings, so uh, not available for breakfast or lunch. Okay, so next up, um, we have finished with block 90. The next block here is actually block 91, which also have a lot of good food. Okay, so let's uh, walk in and have a look at some of the good food here. Okay. And some of the foods here are also only available in the morning. So you may have to come here early for it. Okay. One of the shops that's open now, uh, this is lunchtime, is China Wampo Homemade Noodles. Okay. This is a shop. Basically, you go there, place your order of what type of noodles you want. They'll give you a electronic disc. And when it's your turn, the disc will buzz and you go and collect your noodles. Okay, the only thing about here is that there is they may be quite a wait if you come here during uh, peak hours, maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So what I ordered is I ordered the uh, ban mian, but it's the dry version, and they give you a dollop of the chili sauce. Okay, so basically you have the no noodles which they cook quite nicely. Quite, I like the texture. The noodle texture is very nice. Then they give you lots of vegetable, and then also give you the nice uh, dark uh, soya sauce, which goes very well with the noodles. And it, also you have ikan bilis, then you have prawns, you have the meatballs. Okay, but one thing I wasn't expecting is the chili sauce itself. The chili sauce itself is surprisingly spicy, and uh, when I say spicy, it's actually. Uh, lips tingling spicy yeah so even though they put a small dollop there uh, it's actually quite potent quite strong it's just enough for 
uh, for me to eat the noodles itself. If for those people who really really love spicy, then I may even ask the guy for more, more. But for me, that was just enough. Quite tasty, quite nice. I uh, highly recommend that if you do come here during lunch time, if this shop is open, uh, come here, eat the noodles, and then after you finish the noodles, take your slow time slowly to the to peel the prawns and eat the fresh and uh, fresh prawns. Very good noodle dish. Okay, next up is this stall, which says that they have the best lu mian in town. Basically, I have no idea what lu mian is, but since it's the best in town, I decided, why don't I try it? And off and on, you do see people queuing up for the food. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> what I found out is lu mian is actually just lor mi without the vinegary component. Okay, so you have garlic and then you have the uh, chili sambal and then you have like uh, braised pork and then you have deep fried crispy piece, crispy pieces of uh, maybe of a certain kind of meat and stuff uh, battered stuff together with a uh, thin, I mean a flattened uh, uh, egg noodles and then all brought together with a rich, thick, uh, gu gooey, uh, starchy sauce which is very flavorful, which is very tasty, is very, which is very savory okay just that for me, I still prefer my lor mi with the vinegary component to it it gives it a much needed kick and also cuts through all the starchiness of the uh, of the noodles itself but Overall, not too bad, not too bad. This is one of the shops that you have to come here during breakfast time because by 12.30, okay, they have already sold out and they already finished all their noodles. Even now, at 10 o'clock, they already finished their kwetiao noodles. So this is the place which they call Wampo Prawn Noodles. Uh, actually, it's called 545 Wampo Prawn Noodles. Here's the noodles itself. Okay, it's, I ordered me. Okay, the pork slices were a bit uh, overcooked. The prawn was okay. I like that they put a lot of uh, deep fried shallots. Okay, and then there's also um, bean sprouts in it. Basically, they actually have a tomato ketchup with chili sauce sauce that they put in the noodles and the ch chili sauce actually overpowers the tomato sauce completely and you can't you can actually barely taste much of the tomato sauce but not too bad the chili sauce for the noodles itself i quite like it it's a bit spicy but not too bad not too bad quite tasty you know uh, quite filling and then you also have the soup itself okay it's quite dark you can actually taste that it's actually bought bought from the prawn shells that they bought for a very long time only thing is it's a bit light and and under salted which is actually quite refreshing overall not too bad so this is the second Wampo food center or Wampo Makan Place review I have done. I hope you have enjoyed all the food I've eaten here. I hope you liked what, I, what you saw. So you can come down here and eat it by yourself. Anyway, thank you very much. You know what to do. Like, share and subscribe and join me for my next food adventure. Bye-bye.